Aloha, and welcome to the second module of the Eyes of the Reef online training program. Thanks so much for being here and for taking the time to learn more about how you can help protect Hawaii's coral reefs. The second module of this training will provide you with an overview of the types of corals you might encounter on your local reef in Hawaii. If you have any questions during or after this training, please reach out to your local island coordinator for more information. Free training materials are, are available for you or your class. This includes underwater guides and training booklets. To find your nearest pickup location, please reach out to your local island coordinator. Contact information is available on our website at eorhawaii.org. In this module, you will learn more about the common types of corals you may encounter on your local reef in Hawaii. You will also learn more about how to include coral type into an Eyes of the Reef report. More on submitting reports will be covered in Module 8. When you submit a report to the Eyes of the Reef network, you will need to indicate the type of coral you are observing. First, you will list the types of corals you observe in the area of the report. Next, you will indicate the coral type or types affected by the reported threat condition. Coral species in Hawaii can be difficult to tell apart. So to help avoid confusion about similar species, the Eyes of the Reef Network has divided the common coral species into six general types, including small branching corals, rice corals, smooth mounding corals, smooth finger corals, smooth plate and pillar corals, and corrugated corals. If you observe a coral that doesn't fit into any of these types, it can be reported as other, then described in the notes section of your report. Smooth corals are the most common type of coral in the Hawaiian Islands. Included in this category are smooth mounding corals, smooth finger corals, and smooth plate and pillar corals. The key feature of both smooth mounding and smooth finger corals is that when they are viewed up close, they have a very even or smooth surface without any obvious skeletal bumps or protrusions. As seen in the image in the upper left, coral polyps are tightly assembled along the smooth surface of this mounding colony. Smooth coral colonies are usually bright yellow green to tan in color, but can also be gray or purple in rare cases. Smooth mounding corals can grow to create some of the largest colonies on Earth, up to 20 feet in diameter. While the type typical morphology of smooth corals is either large bumpy mounds or finger shaped fields, small colonies of both varieties can also be encrusting on the reef substrate. Can you recognize the coral types in this image? Both smooth mounding and smooth finger coral types are inhabiting this reef at Hononau on the Big Island. Plate and pillar corals are another less common type of smooth coral and include two less common species of the genus Parites. Plate and pillar coral is typically tan, brown, or purple in color, and is characterized by a unique morphology of plate-like base structures with pillar-like protrusions reaching upward on well-developed colonies. Up close, small ridge structures can be observed along the coral surface with tiny white polyps clustered in between. In recent years, plate and pillar coral has shown resistance to both bleaching and sedimentation stress Population of this coral type are flourishing in certain areas in the Hawaiian Islands, including Hilo Bay and Kwaihai Harbor. Can you recognize the coral types in these images? If you said smooth corals, plate and pillar, morphology, you are correct. So this includes Parides rus and Parides monticulosa. These corals have a unique morphology with both a plate-like base structure and a stubby 
pillar structure that extends from the upper side of the colony. Small branching corals are one of the most common coral types in the Hawaiian Islands. Included in this category are lace coral, cauliflower coral, and antler coral. This coral type includes small, round colonies with distinct branches. Colonies are typically brown, tan, or cream colored, and are more rarely light green. Up close, these corals have wart-like protrusions along their surface, with polyps positioned in between and on top of these protrusions. Small branching corals have been highly susceptible to thermal stress and bleaching events in recent years. Populations have declined dramatically in some areas, including West Hawaii Island, following the 2015 bleaching event, although recruitment and recovery has been documented in recent years. Small branching corals are also a favorite food choice of the predatory crown of thorn sea star. Do you recognize the coral type in this image? If you said small branching corals, you are correct. Small branching corals are easy to find on shallow reefs around the main Hawaiian islands. They often prefer open basalt substrates and thrive in high wave energy environments. Rice corals are also a common coral type in the Hawaiian Islands, but are often not easily, easy to spot and recognize. Included in this category are sandpaper rice coral, red rice coral, and blue rice coral. This coral type is most often encrusting over the underlying substrate, although at certain wave protected reefs, rice coral can also be plate like. Up close, this type of coral has smooth rice shaped projections along the coral surface with polyps positioned in between these projections. Rice coral often grows underneath or in between other larger types of coral, including smooth mounding corals. Similar to small branching coral, rice coral is highly susceptible to thermal stress events and is often observed in a pale or bleached state during the summer season. Do you recognize rice coral in this image? Rice coral, including red rice coral, is often encrusting in between larger smooth mounding coral colonies. Are you able to recognize the two types of rice coral in this image? Differences in coral surface texture are the best way to distinguish red rice coral from sandpaper rice coral. The final coral type used in the Eyes of the Reef reports is corrugated coral. This type of coral is somewhat cryptic and is probably the most challenging to recognize of the six coral types. It typically forms small to medium sized crusts along the underlying substrate. Included in this coral type is just one species of coral, Pavona varians, which is also known as false brain coral due to its brain like looks. The key feature of this coral type is its corrugated appearance with irregular ridges and deep grooves across the coral surface. Corrugated coral is typically tan to brown and occasionally has bright green polyps. In recent years, Pavona variance has appeared to be somewhat resistant to thermal stress and bleaching and has been shown to help stabilize reefs following bleaching events and other damaging events. As seen here, corrugated coral has distinctive ridge and groove structures across the coral surface. Coral polyps are positioned in between these structural ridges. Let's practice your new coral identification skills. For the next few slides, please try and identify the coral type or types present in the image. What types of coral do you see at this mid-depth reef? Both rice coral and smooth finger coral are present in this image. 
What type of coral do you observe in this MINDEP reef? Two types of smooth coral are visible in this image, smooth mounding coral and smooth finger coral. What about this shallow reef at Honanao Bay on Hawaii Island? Which coral types are present? This image includes five coral types, small branching coral in the lower right, smooth finger coral in the foreground of the image, smooth mounding coral in the background, and both rice coral and corrugated coral with encrusting morphologies are found in the center of the image. Great job if you recognized all five. We hope that you feel more familiar with the common coral types found in the main Hawaiian Islands. To learn more about coral types and species, please visit our website at eorhawaii.org slash coral species. We also highly recommend the Marine Life Photography website by Kiyoki and Yuko Stender, available at marinelifephotography.com, which features excellent images and detailed descriptions of hundreds of Hawaiian and Indo-Pacific reef species. This concludes Module 2 of the Eyes of the Reef online training program. Mahalo for your participation. Next, you will be required to successfully complete a short review quiz in order to move on to the next module. Okay, question one. Which coral type best describes the colony below? Is it A, rice coral, B, small branching coral, C, smooth plate and pillar coral, or D, none of the above? If you selected B, small branching coral, you're correct. Okay, question two. Which coral type best describes this colony below? Is it A, smooth mounding, B, small branching, C, purple rice, or D, none of the above? If you said A, smooth mounding coral, you're correct. Question three, which coral type best describes this colony below? Is it A, smooth mounding, B, small branching, C, blue rice, or D, none of the above? If you said C, blue rice coral, you're correct. Question four. Which coral type best describes this image? Is it A, smooth mounding coral, B, red rice coral, C, smooth finger coral, or D, none of the above? If you said C, smooth finger coral, you're correct. Okay, last question. Which coral type best describes the colony below? Is it A, smooth mounding, B, red rice, C, smooth finger, or D, none of the above? If you said B, red rice coral, you're correct. How did you do on the quiz? If you missed more than a few questions, you may want to go back and review the materials in this module before moving on to module three. Mahalo for your participation in the Eyes of the Reef online training program. In the next module, you'll learn more about how to identify and report coral bleaching.